Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how to work with context data in the function node. For those of you who didn't know, there is a menu up here where you can view all your context data. The first type of data is the node data. This is data that is specific to one node. The next is flow data. This is data that is only reachable from within one flow. This means if we have multiple flows, you can only reach the data from within the single flow. The last type of data is global data. As the name suggests, this is data that is reachable from anywhere in your Node-RED program. The first step is to include a function node with an inject node attached to it. The first thing I want to show you is how to work with the node data from within a function node. The convenient thing here is that it works the same with flow and global data, just with another keyword in front of it. So for this example we load a value from our context data, we increase it by one and then write it back to where it came from. In order to read a value that's specific to our node, we need the syntax context.get, where we can specify the name of the value that we want to load. After loading the value, we just increase it by one. And the last step is to write it back. To write the value to the context data, we use context.set, where we first specify the name of our value, that's going to be value in this case, and then the value we want to write. So you can either write a number or something, or you can use a variable just as in this example. So let's try it out. The thing with context data is that you need to reload your viewer in order to see the values. Now when working with node data, you can select this checkbox which will refresh the values when clicking on a new function. Now by using our function, we can see that the value in our context data is none. None stands for not a number. The problem that we are facing is that we want to read a value from our context data that doesn't exist already. So you could either use a change node or something to preset this value, or you can use a little trick here where you use an OR sign and add a zero to it. This means that if the value that you want to read does not exist, it will just replace it with a zero. And as you can see, this has fixed our problem. Now I will show you that the same applies for flow and global data. As we see, if we inject, we have the flow, global and the node data, all increased by one when clicking on the inject node. Now I would like to show you a little trick when working with objects in the context data. We create a new function and call it context data object. 
Let's say you have multiple sensors attached to your device running Node-RED and you would like to store the values of each sensor in one variable. In the set method of your context data, you can use the dot notation to create an object within your context data. If we deploy that, we can see that we have now an object of sensors within our context data. So that's it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it and you could learn something.